yes, the yes, no yes, eye yes, contact yes. jam there. It's just like you can't look over and go, what's going on? I know. On? Are we. Uh, hello. <laughs> Greetings. Today is a good day. It is a good day. For the United Kingdom. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do my Boris Johnson thing. Yes. Stay alert. Stay alert. My guitars. Um, Hang on. I'm alert all the time. I've got my ninja alert so, on. Grey guitars. Uh, Thomas Grey. Lovely, lovely, lovely man. Uh, very musical background. Um, makes guitars from London. Um, and I, start, I met Tom about three years ago when he just really kind of hadn't been on his guitar journey for terribly long. Um, I think he was, I think he'd just gone full-time guitar making when I first met him. Uh, and he was a music teacher in, in his other life. Um, but Dan Steinhardt had a grey guitar and that was how I got introduced to Tom. Mm. And as some of you will know who've watched this channel before, Tom made me this guitar from a piece of old timber that I had uh, that I had taken out from my house when I was doing some uh, building work there. Yeah. And Tom and I had this idea that we that it would be cool for a British guitar manufacturer to make guitars out of entirely indigenous British woods. And this was born. So this is this, this shape of his is called an emperor. This is my own personal guitar and this is from what 2018 something like that or 2017 yeah, years. something like that. Yeah, a couple of years, I would say. Um, and we sold some of these, and Tom had some different shapes and styles of guitars. Um, but I think that that mm. first effort that we had did okay, but it didn't set the world on fire. And I said to Tom, I really, this is my favorite shape, this emperor shape. He makes other shapes. This is my favorite. And I just said, I think there's legs in this, but I'm not sure if the whole British timber thing is the way to go. I think, you know, there are other woods from around the world that are much more traditional to be used in, in guitar manufacturing and, and it might be more fun to do that. But the basic emperor shape I really like. So Tom said, leave it with me. And off he went. And he's one man band. So yeah. he just gets a teeny weeny bit busy and then guitars, you know, <laughs> take the lead times for those guitars. But Pete, show me the new just 2020 Emperor from Grey Guitars. <laughs> oh my life. I mean, the new stuff is um, pretty impressive. So they all have got different finishes, which are probably a bit more contemporary, I'd say, you know, but still classic colors. But you'll have like a Lake Placid Blue, but it would be like a see through thing, and it will still have, you know, like a, like a, I can just catch you on the screen in the oh, yeah. reflection, see? There you are. Um, can I do the same with you? Let me see, hold on. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a kind of the same. So the, we'll get onto colors, because actually yeah. colors is, is kind of, colors. you can almost have anything you want here color-wise, but yeah. what we decided what we wanted was kind of classic Fender colors, <gasps> but all with a bit of a twist. So I don't know if you can see this, dive on over to the Anderson's website and there'll be some sort of more close-up photography. But this is a very slightly translucent Fiesta Red. Yeah. Uh, and this is, yeah, this, this, uh, hang on, let me just grab this one I've got yeah. here on my left side. This one here oh. is, uh, is also kind of a... It's like a blonde, isn't it? Translucent blonde. Yeah. The, the green, I've got this seafoam green. It's almost like a burst though. So it's relatively solid green around the edge, yeah. fading to a... That's gorgeous, that one it's is fab, gorgeous, isn't it? yeah. And this one is rock pool uh, burst well, look, in, so in, in ash. As you can see, the grains is very ashy. Let's talk about the specs. So this mm. is, as I said, this is a grey emperor, but these are kind of, these are ones he makes just for Andertons. So they're a little bit different to perhaps uh, what you might oh. see on his website. So these, you get a choice, first of all, between whether you want an alder or an ash body. Mm -hmm. You can see the one Pete's holding, ash has a much more definitive kind of grain to it. Yeah. Uh, alder is um, a slightly kind of plainer wood, but if you have a preference for one or the other, you can choose that. Yeah. Um, these are a super strat kind of style, so 25 and a half inch scale length, uh, but again, using uh, this stunning Flame maple, I think it's Canadian. Tri triple flame a. maple. Yeah, triple, triple a, a flame maple. Roasted, Look at that one. roasted as well to give it that sort of darker brown tint. Yeah. And then you've got the choice of either a plain 
um, maple fretboard or uh, a rosewood fretboard. Again, this is triple A triple A rosewood yeah. fretboard. So mm -hmm. again, picked for its the nicest figuring. Yeah. Um, then Tr we've got uh, an easy access truss rod adjustment. Mm. We've got um, Radio Shop pickups, which I'll come up to. I'll come back to in a minute. But it, essentially, it's a, a pair of the Chris Buck single coils and a PAF yep. humbucker in the bridge. Mm -hmm. Trem system is a wood tone trem system. That was the thing that I think impressed me most on the one that that, that um, Tom built for me two or three years ago was just how good the trem system is. It's a very vintage style trem system, mm -hmm. but with this cool short arm on it and just a fantastic feel. It's like it's solid, but but, but tremolo-y. <laughs> it's just really good. The Bone <laughs> nut, Goto uh, machine heads, yep. um, this fabulously sleek body design so beautifully contoured neck join nice tummy cut these are a lot lighter my complaint on mine was built mine out of oak and it came out a little heavy and a little bright sounding yeah totally cured all that by going back to you know more traditional timbers you know it's, oh. it sounds how you would expect it to sound now and it's nice and light i dispensed Beautiful. with the um two-tone controls kind of i don't really know why more brands don't do that i, I kind of I'm so used to having two tone controls that I sort of don't really question it. But when Tom said, do you actually need two tone controls? I was kind of like, not really. Treble bleed circuit in here as well. So as you turn things down, it should retain the treble clarity. Mm -hmm. um, so these are all made by Tom. So if you, you know, if you, if you, if you think about any kind of custom shop for bigger name brands, it's always a team of people. The bigger the brand, the more people involved. But this is old school. One guy sits and makes the stuff. Um, and the only other person that gets involved with this, which is kind of cool, is uh, the very last thing that happens to it is it goes to Charlie Chandler's uh, for a Plex setup. Mm. So again, you've probably got, you know, 200 quid's worth of Plex setup yes, you know, at the end. These uh, frets are, are lovely as well, uh, tall. Narrow frets, yeah. vintage style. Very heavily hand rolled edges. Um, got a real kind of got that lovely kind of played in feel. So Pete, yeah. take us through some tones. Yeah, man. We'll build up, we'll wet people's appetite. Appetite just a little bit. Uh, and then I'll tell you how much they are. <laughs> hey. Uh, quickly before I play, I can just tell you that it's a slim 60s D style. So it's quite, it's quite slim, but it's still got a bit of girth to it around the edges there, which I like. So anyway, so here's a bit of playing. I mean, there's, it's one of those things when you play and when you want to keep playing, then it's just nice. You know what I mean? There's nothing, you can't really explain it. So, it's we, uh, keep going. And Go it's on, a good let's, sound let's because keep the tones it is our friend Chris Buck. Is the Buckmeister. The Buckmeister himself in here. So it, you know it's going to sound great. Uh, it, here's the um, middle and the neck pickup together. Here's the middle. It's got that middle tone. Oh, that looks so good, that guitar! It is, it does look really good, doesn't it? I mean, and the flame on the headstock as oh. well just sets it up. And so here's the uh, the, the path uh, pickup and the middle position to uh, pick up together. <laughs> With the tone you can roll off if you want. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. It's a really good trem system. It's delicious. And here's the back pickup. That wants to go, doesn't it? Not too much. Not too much. I've just, I've, we went through a lot of pickups with Tom over the last... Even on this guitar, I went through quite a few pickups. Yeah. Um, he was originally doing the bare knuckle stuff and I think now has moved exclusively to the radio shop stuff. Or, um, and it, 
He's a fab. Yeah. Uh, you've got a set of Chris Bucks in yeah, the strap yeah. of yours, I do, yeah. You? yeah, I do. They're great pickups. They really nailed them. I think there's lo lovely oh. tones in those. So uh, let's just do some gain on here. Uh, Dane on about nine and a half. Just nice, great tone. Yep. I mean, it's got a great tone. Uh, these two together. And for those of you who haven't watched these videos, we've done upside, upstairs, down, upside, downstairs. Yes, we are still in. Uh, We're still in the uh, full yeah. I am plugged into a Victory V40. Goes into a uh, Wasserkraft uh, tube expander. So that's what you're hearing. No sounds in the room. So that sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> That's a good chord. Yeah, it's the, it's the uh, pedal steel chord, <laughs> you know. So here's the two together. Stop putting effects on. It just weighs nothing. <laughs> I yeah, love it. it. Yeah, it's really light as well. So yeah. here's a D chord for, uh, from the back pickup on with the drive. <laughs> Sorry, camouflage off. Oh, this sounds great. These are nitrocellulose finished. Yeah. So when you get them, uh, they have got that, um, not quite like the Gibson VOS kind of thing, but it's, they're not the very, very sort of high gloss finish that you might get on a, a polyurethane kind of guitar. Nitro's um, not like you've that, also got to be um, realistic as well about, you've only got to, you know, even if, as soon as you touch one of these with a cloth, you'll start to see those very, very tiny um, swirls on it. So yeah. again, bear in mind if you're, you know, perhaps not a big guitar aficionado, and this might be your first nitrocellulose finished guitar. Um, they're not that kind of very hard, encapsulated, almost plasticky kind of looking shine. It's a different kind of shine to that. Uh, and, be, you know, it's a thin skin nitro finish as well. So on the plus side, absolutely expect the guitar to be resonating like crazy. Expect to start to see signs of wear sooner. On the downside, if, if, if this is a downside, again, um, begin to see signs of wear earlier than you might on a on a, a polyurethane um, encapsulated sort of guitar. I personally prefer that. A <laughs> million you percent. You played it. It's yeah. what you want. It's what yeah. you want if you're going to buy a nitro guitar. It's one of the reasons Absolutely. why you would. Hundred um, percent. So, what else is there to tell you? Well, in, like, uh, the neck is not lacquered. It's kind of no. finished with some uh, Danish oil, perhaps some gun stock oil, something like that. You know. So it's just got that satin, yep. beautiful satin. Uh, uh, this one has got serial number uh, A and D dash E and P uh, dash zero 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 five. So these are the the five guitars in this video. Uh, so the green one, the red <laughs> one, the sunburst, the white, and the blue that Pete's got. These are I've got. This is zero 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 one. Oh, and is then, it? And then one of them will be two. One will be three. One will be four. One will be five. The intention is. So that's a good shout. So I'm going to keep ordering these as they sell. Maybe we'll change up colours and neck com combinations and things like that. Four. So by all means, you know, by the time you see this video, these ones might not be in stock, but different ones uh, hopefully will be. Um, you, you personally, if you would like um, your own, you, these are the choices that Four. you've got. So within the realms of an Anderton Spec Emperor, you can choose whether you want it to be ash or alder. Mm -hmm. You can choose whether you want it to be rosewood or maple fretboard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you can choose which color scratch plate you want from uh -huh. almost, as long as it's like a normal, so white parchment, black tortoise shell, whatever. Um, and you can choose again the color, again, within reason. Uh, he does, uh, they're all hand sprayed. So I think what Tom said to me was, look, provided it's a fendery kind of color yeah. and I can get it, I can do it as solid, I can do it as translucent, I can do it as a burst, sort of whatever you want, um, but maybe not 
completely crazy colors like you know i don't think there are any um like flake finishes sparkles. and stuff like that. I think he's done a couple of sparkles, but Has I, he? I, he did do one, which was a, uh, a um, pink burst. Do you remember that? Yes. That looked absolutely um, amazing. So these guitars are £2,999, oh. including VAT in the UK, come with a Hiscox uh, Light Flight hard case. Um, and that price is... Um, only really achievable because he builds these kind of three or four, he'll always have three or four of these on the go for Andertons. Uh, if you want something uh, very different to this, so you like this basic idea, but you want something heavily customized about it or to your own spec, by all means approach Tom directly about that, but the price will be upwards. Yeah. Um, Different shapes as well he's got, if you're yeah. looking at... For yeah, I mean, this is my favourite. I like the Emperor, but he's... Um, I mean, he's got a few sort of people using his guitars now that you might have seen on YouTube. So Dan Steinhardt's got two, if I remember rightly. He's, yeah, he's got, got his the Skipper. T-Style and the Skipper. Yeah. Um, Andy from Reverb's got one. Graham Coxon. Uh, yeah, Josh Smith, uh, yeah. Justin Sandico. Yeah. Um, so... Dive I mean, on over, have a look. They are great guitars. I mean, I, let me go through, which one did you play? You played the blue with the rosewood neck. Didn't yeah, yeah, you? So, so this one is definitely, uh, look at that. That's a bit that Lee Timmons does, isn't it? It is, look at the neck, Look man. at the neck, when I'm doing that, that look, look at that. Flame delicious. <laughs> in fact, they're all bonkers necks, aren't they? I, again, I think this stacks up well. I know uh, look at all that. the kind of the boutique, you know, I know what you can buy from other boutique builders. <laughs> and I think, there's something nice about knowing that this is a one-man operation. Yeah. There's something cool about it coming from London because not a lot of guitars come out of London. Um, and it's, pr I mean, it's obviously not, you know, it's not a cheap guitar by any stretch of the imagination, but for what it is, I think it stacks up pretty well. Absolutely, 100%. Um, here's the, the maple neck one, just because we heard Pete playing the blue one. Mm. Is it a little... Marginally spankier, maybe. But isn't it? What were you going to say? Well, isn't it funny because we talked about doing, when we talked about lacquered necks, mm. how that's more spanky. This is not a lacquered fretboard, you see. Yes. So, which means that it's less spanky than, say, a lacquered neck on a strap, for instance. Do you wear these... spanks ever? I mean. Manx. Manx. You wear, you yeah, wear yeah. Manx. All the time. Uh, so, that was the neck pickup. Uh, neck and middle. Such a classic sound. Uh, anyway. And the bridge. <laughs> so the back humbucker on here, the PAF, I didn't want it too hot. I wanted something hot. specifically to sort of complement the, 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 uh, the Chris Buck. Single coils. Oh, That's just a light good, speed. Man. Sounds great. Light speed is not a big overdriven pet. You know, it's like a light yeah, overdrive. And then you can... I think right at the beginning I had a, a compressor on just to give it that. So that's no compressor. Ooh. Just kind of smooths it and fattens it a bit. But it's a super guitar. So look, just, just look again gorgeous. to go over. Beautiful. Links in the description below. You will, on all the grey guitars that we get on uh, to Anderton's, they'll all be individually weighed and photographed. Uh, so you get to choose, um, look, look. you get the one that you see in the <laughs> photographs on our website will be the one you get, provided that the guitar's in stock at the time you buy it. Uh, if you order something that's uh, out of stock, I suspect the photo you'll see will be of the one that we had before. Um, but the next one should look similar. Or of course, as I said, if you want to, you know, if you want to do your own thang, you want your own combination of colours or... Pink burst. Pink Neck, uh, fretboards, yeah. sorry. Um, but yes, these are fab. They are fabulous. Fabulous, beautiful guitars. Look at that neck. 
Ooh, the, the necks on these are, are absolutely monstrous. So come on then, Pete, let's... Yeah. Um, so we just say uh, goodbye and jam out. Jam out, goodbye, yeah. jam out. <laughs>